Now we know to cut the carbs, cut the sugar, increase the fat. Easy, right? Well, I have two kids, I run a clinic, I work a great job, I have to help them with their homework, I need to work out, I gotta make meals, gotta take out the trash, gotta clean the litter box, gotta run and have a life. So this video is all about help, I need some hacks. And guess what? That's what I'm covering today. These are keto hacks that completely changed my life and will change yours. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. I am a keto dietitian and I struggled with weight gain after the birth of my second child. He is now eight. And I went through this three year cycle of not only being fat, but suffering from migraines. And it really took a physical toll on my body. At that time, I was following the standard American diet. Now, I tell my personal story in a video that I did a couple months ago. You have got to watch it because so many folks identify with maybe not being heard, just not being able to lose that last 15 pounds and um, really changing their lives. So please click on that video when this video is done. I know that you are going to identify with at least one thing that I struggled with in that three year period. I always tell folks that that my clinic is not a Whole Foods clinic. It's not even a Trader Joe's clinic. I don't even have a Trader Joe's in my town. And I am a busy person. I do a lot of different things. And I incorporated these hacks and I teach a lot of my clients these hacks because, you know, y'all are busy, you know? So the first hack is I want you to be strategic with your water. You will not drink all the water you need just by having a water bottle on your desk. And I really had to take a hard look at my water intake because I did have the water bottles lined up on my desk. And we all have like the notorious nightstand where we have everything, you know, put on up there. But the question is, is are we drinking those water bottles that we have at our desk, on our nightstand, in the car? Nine times out of 10, we're only drinking half of it. Now that's not from a study, but it's kind of what I've learned in, in clinic. And we have to realize that water is so important in weight loss gain. There's just study after study. One of my favorite studies I tell folks is that by folks just increasing their water by one liter a day, they found that over a year they lost 4.4 pounds. Now some of y'all are gonna say, well, that's not a lot of weight. For me, it is. For somebody who's barely five foot tall, yes, I'm a shardy torty, uh, you know, five pounds makes a huge difference on my body frame. Water can also decrease our appetite when drinking with a meal. Studies show that older adults drinking water before a meal increase their weight loss by 4.4 pounds over a 12 week period. So that's eight pounds in a year if we're just strategic. So hack one, drink your eight ounces of water when you wake up, 16 to 24 ounces of water before each meal, 16 to 24 ounces of water on your drive home. And there we're at our 72 ounces. But wait, there's more to this hack. And hack number two is cold water. What? Yes, these results may be even more impressive whenever the water is cold. So when we drink cold water, that's water with ice, your body uses extra calories to warm up the body as we're drinking the water. So go for it, drink it cold. Now hack number three is I tell folks, buy only two new oils, buy just olive and avocado. Do not fall into the trap that you need a hundred different oils, different fats. It's fun. I will admit, I don't really go to Whole Foods that much. I shop at a wonderful store called Drug Emporium. It is so much fun to go to the store and look at all the oils, but you will stress yourself out if you buy a ton of them. You really just need to do the olive oil and the avocado oil. Avocado oil is wonderful in the air fryer. It's a great neutral oil. Extra virgin olive oil is wonderful. It can reduce inflammation we talk about inflammation all the time in here and it if you get the light version it is wonderful on our salads with the olive oils they have olecanthinol and I may be mispronouncing that which has been shown to work similarly to ibuprofen with pain and olive oil works really good in savory dishes like we said it works great on the stovetop and in baked meals and again that avocado oil is so neutral go ahead and use it in the air fryer 
My next hack is to buy the container of romaine or spinach. There's a couple reasons of this. I love a fabulous salad, I'm not gonna lie, but time-wise, I just don't have time for it. I bring my container of spinach and romaine, I leave it in my refrigerator at work, I grab my two handfuls, I eat it, and we're good. Remember, I always eat on paper plates because I'm bougie on a bayou. My china is the paper plates that you find at Sam's Club. I mean, that's how we roll in this kitchen. You know, just by doing that, saves me time, saves me energy. Two good handfuls is about a cup, okay? Um, and then the containers cost, you know, in the five to seven dollar range. I have my greens for the week. It's cheap, it's fast, it is a great hack. And continuing that next hack is to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to your lunch salad and your supper salad. Remember gang, when we go keto and anti-inflammatory, anti this is a higher fat plan. This is not a higher fat, higher meat plan. Oh, I got a little tongue twister there. And I do this because my lunch break is about 15 to 20 minutes. I do not have a lunch, a long lunch break at all. I run a clinic, you know? And so I just pour it on my salad and we're good to go. With my next hack is I purchase a bottle of Primal Kitchen dressing each time I go to the store. Why? Well, number one, I don't want to bust the bank. Number two, I pour a tablespoon of that on top of my salad at work and at the house, and that way it kind of mixes with the olive oil. It gives it a really cool flavor. Now, some folks will insist on buying, you know, maybe a nice vinegar each time they go into the store. It really depends what works for you. I would say nine times out of 10, my clients will do Primal Kitchen, but I do have those folks once in a while who are like, you know, I just like the olive oil and vinegar, so it's up to you. Then, your next hack is to get the measure Ziploc bags. These are great for nuts. There's really nothing else that we can say about this because I'm not pulling out here, this, that out of my cabinet. I just take my nuts and I put it on in there. It's awesome for portion control. Remember, this is not a we can eat everything we want kitchen. And because of that, y'all know I'm a nuts girl. I love my almonds, walnuts, and pecans. And you can buy them in bulk nine times out of 10 in a place like Sam's Club, even our places like Drug Emporium, if you have a place like that in your town, at your Costco's, or in the baking section, it is usually 10 times cheaper. I personally am not a fan of bars. So like the granola bars, even the keto ones, they just don't appeal to me. Some of them have the sugar alcohols in them. I think the nuts make one of the best go-to snacks because you could just grab your bag, eat it, and you're good to go. Our next hack, kind of similar to the olive oils, is that we don't want to get into buying a 4,000 different spices, but instead buy about four of your favorites. So this is not your typical housewife food blogger kitchen. We're just not, that's just not our personality. I love them, they paved the way for a lot of awesome stuff, but we gotta be honest, their recipes have 12 to 37,000 ingredients, and I just don't have time for that, nor do I have time to read the huge story that they write above, and if you watch my shorts, I kinda pick a little bit on food bloggers because, you know, what the heck? You can get away with onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning. Y'all know I'm, I'm great. Now, if you want a really specific brand, social medias love to promote Flavor God. There's Kevin's, which is an incredible brand that's at Drug Emporium. This is where you can buy local. You know, if you have some local spice makers in town, we tend to have that. I live in Louisiana. Everybody tends to have a, a wonderful spice. You can try those instead of having to worry about add adding 12 or 15 different spices, as long as there's no sugar added or no funky ingredients, you're gonna be okay. So don't panic about that. Don't panic at all about that. You know, these seasonings can add such a wonderful taste to our meat. And my rule of thumb, my hack, is a tablespoon of your seasoning per pound of meat. Works really great. Now my next hack is one to purchase, and that is your air fryer. Now, I get it, it's an investment, and we are a kitchen where we wanna save money, but gang, the air fryer saves you time. It cooks meats fantastic, especially things like your chicken thighs. You don't really have to measure. You just kind of sprinkle the olive oil on top of it. You sprinkle the seasoning. Most of your air fryers are gonna come with an instruction book on how long to cook you know, the meats and the vegetables. Just pay attention to that. Maybe put it on your refrigerator. 
And this is how I get my entire family to eat keto. We're not prepping two different meals. The meat pretty much is in the air fryer. I guarantee you I use it three times a week at least. Which leads me on to my next item, which is purchase frozen vegetables that are plain. Plain frozen vegetables at all of your supermarkets are fantastic. You're gonna wanna look at the ingredients, make sure it's just the vegetable itself. And it's so crazy awesome to either throw these in the air fryer or to throw these in your microwave. Yes, I use the microwave. I add usually about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of butter to it, a little seasoning. Look for things like asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, spinach, zucchini, remember no potatoes or corn, add your butter to it, cook it, and then I usually add a tablespoon of olive oil with my next hack, which is Redmond Real Salt. Buy this now, the flavor is amazing, my kids love it. Remember, it's unrefined, there's nothing added to it. You get your trace minerals, so you're getting your potassium, magnesium, and sodium, which can help prevent against the keto flu. But gang, the taste, you don't need a lot. It is amazing, it is one of my favorite hacks because I'm not buying four million spices. Yes, as we said earlier, I'm buying a few Cajun seasonings, onion and garlic powder, but I'm not buying anything insane or crazy and spending all this extra money. We gotta keep it simple. If you keep it simple, it's just gonna be fantastic. Boiled eggs. Another huge hack. We always have boiled eggs in our refrigerator. I make them in the air fryer. I did a video here. I'll link it below on how simple it is to make these. You could have boiled eggs for lunch. You can make an egg salad. You could put it, chop them up and put them on top of your avocado. What I really, really love is that boiled eggs will last 10 days in the refrigerator. So I don't have to panic if something happens on the weekend because I have two kids. We have games, we have homework, we have all this stuff. It's like, okay, I could just grab that and I'll be good. What's the next one? Eggs, tuna. Tuna is a huge, huge hack for me, gang. I actually eat a lot of tuna for breakfast on top of my avocado, and I know some of y'all are like, disgusting. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I wake up at 5.45 in the morning, hit my snooze button a couple times, gotta get two kids ready, off to school, and then clinic, I have to get there at 7.45 to get everything open, to turn the lights on, you know, start the coffee, all that. Sometimes those tuna packets, just I can just open my avocado, put the tuna on top, put a little schmear of the Primal Kitchen mayo on there, and man, am I like having a fantastic breakfast. They're so convenient and they work for the busy mom, the busy dad, the person who is here, there, everywhere. And if you have a little olive oil with you, mix it with that. I love to get the ones, I do love to get the packets made with olive oil. Super easy to carry with you. It has your fat in there. Just again, make sure to get plain so we don't have to worry about any kind of added sugar or any kind of added weird ingredients. And they're often on sale. I mean, hello, it's a great find. <laughs> Thank you. And then my final hack that I love to share with everybody is when clients walk into my office, it's super funny. I have this huge gallon jug container on my desk. Let me be clear, this gallon jug does not travel with me. It stays on my desk. Yes, I wash it at the end of the day, but it's a great way for me to get water between my meals and it really does motivate me to drink more. So go ahead and get you one. I have a link in the description box below. And I always tell folks, let me be clear, I was terrified um, to switch over to keto and anti-inflammatory because I was you know, trained all my life not to like the lifestyle. But I was in so much pain, my feet hurt, I never thought the pain would go away. Um, I switched over to keto and anti-inflammatory lifestyle, lost my final 15 pounds, and if you want an example menu of what I followed, you can scroll down below and get that menu directly delivered to your inbox. Gang, I wish you all well. Mwah.